Ladies and gentlemen, two miraculous things happened today. Number one, I graduated. Number two, I survived back to school night. As you can tell, school is starting. I've got my stress breakouts happening. I didn't know I was stressed, but my face knew. So anyway, because today was back to school night, the classroom is as good as it's gonna get because school starts on Monday. I'm not changing anything. My family came and helped me finish a bunch of stuff today. So that means it is finally time for the official classroom tour. Here you go. Okay, so we're gonna start out here in the hallway. And then here's all my students' names on the door. Welcome stuff. All right, so when you first come in, I have my, let me close the door since the other teachers are still here, my guided reading table. And next to it, a bookshelf that holds all of my guided reading stuff as well as my turn-in baskets. And you know, doohickeys on top. This is where the birthdays will go. I'm gonna take a picture of the kids holding the date of their birthday, put it under their month. This is my rewards board. So I haven't made them yet, but I make little magnets with the kids' names and then when they earn the reward, instead of taking the prize off, they just stick their name on top of it so like multiple kids can have the same prize at the same time. And then my centers board, those are little um, clear plastic pockets from Target and so I can slide a card in there with their group number. My maps from Donors Choose. I know they look awkward hanging up that high, but I couldn't put them all on with tape and so I wanted to staple them. And eventually I'll have baskets with like seasonal books up here. So you know what, it's fine. And my hippo, this is Helga in the quote. We've got our class library here and since it's after back to school night, all the books bins on the bottom are skew office, but filled with books that the kids picked out. So I got those bins at Walmart and the Dollar Tree. And then I went ahead and on a couple of those, you can see them right there. I put stickers that coordinate with the books in them so you can tell which bin they go in. These I got from a grant from the community. Those are my graduation flowers. So that's my desk. I have my file folder system. I have one for each day and then like copies to be made, um, stuff to grade, things like that all in there, which is all back to school stuff right now. And my little wall with my calendar and information and this little note right here, a student wrote that for me and brought it tonight, which was the cutest thing that ever happened in my diploma because I graduated and I like to show it off. This is my teacher supply shelf. So all of those are teacher supplies. Some people might be bothered by them sticking out, but I'm not, so that's fine. This is the iPad station. The headphones are down there. iPads are up here. Um, whiteboards, that's a good place for them to go. There's pretty much nothing in these drawers right now, but I'm sure I will figure out something to put in there. Those are prize jars, clipboards. This is my um, reward system up here. I just used washi tape to put that up. We've got our whole engineering design business up. This is my brand new whiteboard that I got. So I put my number line underneath so the kids can walk up and actually touch and use it. And then my schedule tabs will be over here in this corner, which is by an additional table that I have. I actually don't know for sure what I'm going to do with that, but yes, it's there. Okay. So just so you know, I'm doing a circle of the room right now so you can orient yourself. Okay, so we're still turning all this empty wall space. We'll eventually have like math anchor charts and things like that, but I like empty walls. So there's my writing board and this little built into the wall station will be for writing. So that's why that's there. This is my back room. Yeah, we'll take a quick look at it because it is pretty. Okay, so we've got teacher storage, seasonal or themed books, student supplies, excuse me, the hiccups. Okay. And then these are morning work, math homework, stuff for interactive notebooks. Uh, this is my language art shelf, math, more math, seasonal items in my rainbow drawers, which are not in rainbow order because like I wanted October to have an orange bin. So sorry about that. More supplies, all organized over there, except for that bag on top, which is for the first day of school, so I didn't bother to organize it. And stuff in those drawers, extra containers and things down in those cabinets there. All right, stepping back out and looking, there's the door over there. I have these um, sit spots on the floor, which are the greatest thing that ever happened to the world. So they are, they're called sit spot and you can get them in different shapes and stuff. They're Velcro, so they like adhere to the ground. But when you put them on, then they're like flush with the ground so that you can like vacuum over them and stuff. And they like, you saw it took some effort to peel off. So the kids, I teach them not to peel them off, but they don't like accidentally peel them off either. 
Okay, so the sit spots are, instead of a rug, I have the spots for them to sit on. And I like having the different colors because then I can be like, okay, if you're on a blue dot, you can go. So that's why I have all different colors there. They were a gift to me. They are pretty pricey. So just in case you were interested, sorry, I thought there was a parent coming into my room. Okay, this is my calendar. I made it out of an oil drip pan. I just wrote on it with Sharpie. I was intending to Mod Podge some cutout stuff that doesn't stick well to that. So anyway, and then I made these letters, or letters, these are numbers. I made them, I cut them out with a um, silhouette and then they just got a magnet on the back. They're laminated and that's my wrapping paper. So I just like put a square of it through the number. I ran out of magnets, so the ones in the bottom don't have the right magnet on them. But we'll change that eventually. And then the weather magnets will go right there too. This is just a growth mindset stuff. I just stapled that um, page protector to the wall. And then this will be our number of the day. So this little shelf has my morning meeting and calendar type stuff, books for me to read. And then that's extra calendar type things down there on the bottom shelf. Those markers go to this board so I can be teaching on a whiteboard while we're over here. That's going to be my focus while I decided this year to do it all on whiteboards instead of stapling up typed words. So unless my handwriting is hideous, that should work out really nicely to just be able to write things on there. And my turn and tuck poster. This is my wonder board. I actually wrote some wonder questions on it. So if you've been watching, you can figure out what it is a little bit so kids can write a question on there. And then other kids will find the answer for them either like in a book or researching at home or something like that. And then we'll share the answers that we find with each other. So there's my fun wonder board questions. I wrote them all myself just so I can demonstrate how it works. And I'm gonna read a super cool book to start it out. My word wall, which is also gonna be all handwritten. So, you know, handwriting everywhere. These are my class jobs. So I totally stole this idea from a Instagram teacher. And I am sorry if I copied anything she did because I didn't buy her one on TPT because I wanted to edit and make it all a little bit different. So I'm sorry if I stole anything from you. Anyway, so they're job crews. So like this one, whoa, sorry. Playground Patrol does all those jobs, but then when you want to know who's doing the job. I'm explaining this super poorly. I'm sorry. You circle the student numbers. So like maybe student one, two, three, and four are on playground patrol. So I'd circle those and that's their job. So a whole crew of students instead of just one is working on these and each of them have multiple assignments. So instead of having individual jobs, I have crews doing bunches of jobs and then I don't have to rotate them as often and it practices teamwork too. So before I show you the wall, let me show you this. This is my little Chromebook station with the ski wampus stools, that's fine. Lunch bin, and then right here we have our wow work, hippotastic work is what I call it. The way I'm gonna do it is that students will self-select a work, a, a work, a piece of work. Guys, it's been a long day. A piece of work that they're proud of and hang it on their clothespin. I just realized they haven't numbered these. I'll have to do that. Okay, anyway, that's where they're gonna hang that up. Sorry, I had a visitor. Okay, so this is where my centers will go. There's little label pockets on there that you can't see and our language arts, textbooks, and dictionaries. That's my hippo party miss. On your birthday, you get to keep them on your desk and my little teacher mailbox. So if you need to slip me a note, you can. For bathroom, I just have these lanyards that you wear as your pass, but then if you're going, you put this cup on your desk because then I'm looking around the room and I'm like, what, where is so-and-so? And they have a cup on their desk so I know that they're in the bathroom. And then I put some hand sanitizer there in hopes the children will use it when they come back from the bathroom. And now we're back to guided reading. So that's my room. Oh, one last thing I wanted to show you that's super cool. Well, let me show you what's in their desks because, you know, that's fun. So they have a pencil box with their number on it. And, whoa, some school supplies in there. The siblings helped me put those together. And then we've got a composition notebook that will be used for Wonders. Sorts Wonders is our literacy program. This is a writing notebook. Then we've got homework folder, writing folder, unfinished work folder in cute cups. Whoa, the big cups again. And then their name tags. I just put them in the little target label pockets so that eventually I can slide them out and move them around. Um, but then they're protected, but also movable so that's nice so yeah 
So that's my classroom. I kind of am in love with this. The color coordination that works throughout the place, like there's just like a, a theme to it. It's so much better than my room last year. And like my room last year was fine, but it was definitely a first year teacher room. And I just like upped my game, like hardcore upped it. And I'm pretty excited about it. And even the iPads match my color scheme. And it's just wonderful. So bless you all for enduring all of this with me. School starts on Monday. I will assuredly be back with many school stories, but until then, bye. Many of you might remember if you've watched other videos that I tried to take home a whole bouquet of balloons last year and they kept getting into the front seat and being a super nuisance. Well, today I'm trying to take home a vase of flowers and the vase is still filled with water. So <laughs> this ought to be interesting. So I'm not trying to be one of those people who's always forgetful, but like literally every time I go to Michael's, I leave my teacher identification in the car. Literally every single time. So I went in tonight and I was like, I left it in the car again. And he was like, that's okay, I believe you. And if you're lying, I'll come find you. And I was like, I'll be at the school. And so I told him, I was like, we just had back to school night. And I, like looking at myself now, I don't feel like I look as bad as I feel. I feel like I walked out of the school and I'm just like, melted like I feel like I have water balloons under my eyes right now thank goodness it doesn't look like that but guys I feel like I'm dying my throat instantly got so much more sore it's been sore all day but like it got worse and then my whole face just feels like it like inflated and got puffy <sighs> yay for starting school and bless that sweet man at Michael's for recognizing it he gave me 25% off instead of 15 shout out to you dude you just made my day